The Dela Cruz family has always been devoutly Catholic. All five children are being raised to believe in the teachings of the church. But they also campaigned for a controversial reproductive health bill to be signed into law against the church's wishes. They were condemned for their actions and thrown out of religious service by a priest for being immoral. It saddened me to be called that, to be a legitimate Catholic and a human being too, and to be called an abortionist and immoral. But I was not deterred. I believe that my actions, what I do, are for the greater good of women and my children, who also happen to be girls. There are more than 75 million Catholic Filipinos, and many of them are like the De La Cruzes, who call themselves the moderate, silent majority. They participate in religious activities and rituals, but no longer necessarily abide by everything church leaders say, particularly when it comes to social issues. Spanish colonizers brought Catholicism to the Philippines almost 500 years ago. It's dominated all aspects of life here ever since. Church leaders say they're not worried about the number of the faithful declining, saying that the church has always survived by managing to adapt while holding fast to its core beliefs. The Catholic Church has worked on reaching out to a younger audience, but many of its teachings have been criticized as antiquated or detached from reality. The Church has conservative views on procreation, sexuality and marriage, and the Philippines is the only country in the world where divorce is not allowed. It's not a popularity contest, and uh, as I said, <coughs> sometimes you have, to be, you have to learn how to be unpopular. There are limits to what you can change. We cannot ourselves uh, water down the truth. We can, as they say, inculturate our expressions of the truth, make adopted expressions of our, uh, of our convictions. As much as church leaders are sticking to their convictions, the faithful are also developing their own. It can't always be up to the church to decide things. People should also have a right to decide for themselves, depending on their circumstances. The De La Cruzes remain devoutly Catholic. And like them, though church leaders may not like it, many other Filipino Catholics see no contradiction between adapting to their secular reality and their continuing faith in God. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.